Dislike or Like, The Little Mermaid 2023 At the beginning of the film, we are shown a very big sea. A sea in which there used to be a world. The world of mermaids. So at the beginning of the story, we see a very big ship. There were many people in it, who used to come to collect antiques from the sea. And then they used to sell them, there was also a prince in this ship whose name was Eric. He was also very fond of collecting such special things. That's why he also used to come, with these people on the journey of the ship. Today was the Moon Festival, a festival of the moon. It was said that the mermaids come out of the water tonight. Now all the people on this ship, they all wanted to catch the mermaids tonight. But Eric was a very noble and good prince. He forbids everyone to do this. There was always a man with Eric, who was a very special man of Eric's mom queen. And Eric's guardian too, he explains to Eric, look prince, you should leave all this, you don't know that, the rest of the ships take very special things from the sea. So why should we take such small things, but Eric had to stay away from all these things. After this, the world of water is shown. There was a very beautiful world in the depths of the sea. Such a world that we can't even see in our thoughts. There used to be a king in the sea, who was also called the god of water. He had seven daughters, who are mermaids. He calls his six daughters to him. But here his seventh daughter wasn't here. That is, the youngest, whose name was Ariel. The king calls his crab here, who was a crab, but he listened to everything the king said so the king now sends him to find Ariel. The crab had left to find Ariel. We know that Ariel was very fond of human things. Often she used to go very far in search of human things. Ariel also had a friend who was a small fish. That often stayed with her. Ariel always went to the broken ship sunk in the sea, and used to look at human things. She used to keep what she liked with her. Now she sees a broken ship in the sea which was very far. When she was about to go there, the fish stop her, and tells her, look, don't go far. I have heard that very big sharks live there. But Ariel doesn't listen, and went to the ship, where she finds a lot of human things. Then a very big shark goes there, who attacked Ariel, but Ariel trapped it in the net and escaped from there. She also had a bird friend. Actually, she got a fork from the ship, with which she goes to her bird friend, and asks it what it is used for. The bird even didn't know about these things, but it tells Ariel that it is used to make hair. Hearing this, Ariel also started making hair with that fork. Then the crab comes here, who had brought the message of the king. He tells her that do you know, today, is the moon festival. So the king is calling you, hearing this, Ariel quickly swam, and reached the meeting of the king i.e. her dad here in the sea, we see a sea witch, the magician of water, who had very big tentacles, just like an octopus, that which had kept an eye on Ariel. Now, Ariel comes to her dad, where her dad was very angry with her. He asks where were you? Ariel tells him that she was looking at human things. Hearing this, the king i.e. her dad got angry. Ariel tells her dad that I don't understand, why do you think humans are so bad? Their world is very beautiful. They are very good people. Actually, Ariel's mom was responsible for the death of humans. That's why her dad hated humans. Now the king tells her that, next time, you will not go to things related to humans. Hearing this, she left there in anger. The king knew that Ariel would not listen to him. That's why he sends the crab behind Ariel, to take care of her. She got angry and came to her room, where she had collected many things of humans. Whichever ship sank, or things came from it and fell into the sea. So Ariel used to collect those things here, which had books, buttons, coins, and much more. She always wanted to go to the world of humans, and roam on the roads. That's why she hears explosions from above the water. When Ariel goes up and sees, she sees a very big ship, in which people were playing firecrackers. This ship was not of anyone else but of Prince Eric. Ariel is very happy to see these things. She thinks that humans have so many new things. Actually, Eric and his friends were celebrating in the ship. Eric was also having fun with them like a normal person. The guardian who used to stay with him. He explains to Eric, look, you are a prince, don't do this. But Eric didn't care about these things. Ariel also listens to him. So she liked Eric's thought, that he is such a good person. Then Eric and his companions come to know, that the weather has suddenly become bad. It was also starting to rain. And there were very fast waves in the sea, so fast that they could have drowned their ship. That's why everyone starts jumping from the ship. They wanted to sit in small boats, and save their lives from here. 
Their ship was also on fire. Everyone came out of the ship except Eric, when he starts jumping. Then he came to know that his dog was still on the ship. That's why he wants to save his dog now. So a wave of the sea came so fast. His ship was splits into two, and Eric drowns in the sea. Ariel was also seeing all this there. Eric went into the depths of the drowning water. There Ariel saves his life. She brought him out of the water. For the first time she saw a human. She touched him. She saves him and brings him to the shore. Eric was unconscious. She was trying to make him conscious. Here were her animal friends. They all talk to each other, that no one will tell this to the king. That Ariel has saved a human's life. There Ariel was trying to make Eric conscious. She also sings, but then some guards come from the palace, who came in search of Eric. When Eric opens his eyes, then the guards came and took him with them. He didn't see Ariel, but he knew that a girl has saved his life. Ariel also hid after seeing the guard. The water witch was also seeing this all, which we saw in the beginning of the story, that she had kept an eye on Ariel. She had a very big purpose behind this. Now we see Ariel, since she met the human, that is, more than Eric, she was lost, and wanted to go into the world of humans. Every day she waits for Eric, that maybe he will come in water to find her someday. On the other hand, Eric, who was being treated, he gets well and comes to his mom, who was a queen, he asks his mom, did you find the girl who saved my life that night? His mom says no, not now, but yes, we will find her soon. But son, you will also have to rest. Eric says no, I am fine. I just have to find the girl who saved my life. I want to see her. Eric was also suspicious that, maybe that girl is a mermaid, the one who saved his life. He used to go to the seaside every day and look for Ariel. He also goes on the ship. He was sure that if he put his life in danger again, then that mermaid will definitely come to save him. Ariel was also lost in the water. Her sisters were removing the fallen ships in the sea. That was Eric's ship. Ariel does not talk to her sisters here. Now her dad was also suspicious of her. That Ariel has fallen in love with a human. Ariel's dad, that is, after the king asks Crab. He also told the truth. That yes, Ariel saved a human's life. Hearing this, the king was very angry. He had a lot of power. He destroys the things of humans kept by Ariel. Ariel was stopping her dad a lot. But he does not refuse anything. Seeing all this, Ariel was very sad. Then the same witch comes in front of her, who had kept an eye on her, and tells Ariel, that I am your auntie. Everyone knows me as the sea witch, but I know what you want. If you want all that, then you will have to come to meet me. Now, Ariel went to meet that witch. Witch says I know that you love a human, and want to go into the world of humans. I can help you, but in return you will have to do one thing for me. I have a condition, that I will change you into a human, I can give you legs to walk you will have to come back within three days, and tell that human about your love. But in return, you have to give me your voice. If you do not tell that human about your love, then you will have to stay with me forever. Ariel was scared after hearing about many witches' conditions. She starts going back. Seeing this, the witch says, okay, go away, do not listen to me, and stay with your dad all your life, who will never let you meet a human. Hearing this, Ariel returns to the witch, and she was ready to listen to everything, now, the witch does magic on her. First of all, she locks the voice of Ariel in a locket, and puts it around her neck. After that, she turned Ariel from a water fairy into a human. Ariel, who had now become a human, so it was difficult for her to stay in the water. She comes to the shore swimming. Actually, all this was a trap of the witch she wanted to defeat Ariel's dad, the king, and become the queen of the sea. When a fisherman was catching fish there, Ariel comes in his net. The fisherman was very surprised to see her. He says to her, do not worry, I will take you to my queen, who will take good care of you. Ariel was very happy when she saw her feet. There, her animal friends come to her. They also knew that Ariel is now not a mermaid, but has become a human. Now the fisherman brings her to his queen, who was none other than Eric's mother. Where Ariel is taken very good care of, she is bathed and clothed. She was very happy to come into the world of humans. There she sings, but that poor girl had no voice, whom she traded with the witch. When Eric comes to meet her, she is very surprised to see him. But Eric did not recognize her. Earlier, Eric also felt that the girl, who has come to his palace, has saved his life. But when Eric sees Ariel, he says, it's good that your life is saved. You can live in our palace easily. Poor Ariel could not even tell him. But she was the one who saved his life. When Eric leaves, then a crab came to her 
who tells her that within three days, you will have to tell all to your love. Otherwise, the witch will keep you with her forever. Hearing this, Ariel leaves. Now when she came into the world of humans, she had a lot to see a lot of things. She was roaming around the palace. She came to a room where Eric had kept antiques which he often brought from the sea. There Ariel also sees a mermaid lying there, but she had put it back in its place. Eric also comes there who himself started showing things to Ariel. Ariel breaks a stone and gives him a diamond, about which Eric himself did not even know. He also shows Ariel maps of different countries. Seeing them, it seemed that both, have started living very happily with each other meanwhile, Eric's guardian comes, who after seeing him happy, was asking. Should we still find that girl who saved your life? Eric says yes, do not forget her, and we need a rider. I myself want to find that girl. A horse carriage was arranged for Eric. He takes Ariel with him and went. Ariel was taking the horses very happily on the seashore. They come to a village, where Ariel sees a lot of new things. She also dances with Eric. She had also bought a cap for him. At night, Eric was taking Ariel on a boat, and was going to take her on a sea tour. Ariel's animal friends were also there, who were talking that now is the right time. Ariel should tell Eric what is in her heart. Because there is love between them, if Ariel kisses Eric, then forever, she can live with Eric as a human. And she will never have to go to the witch. They both have a lot of fun going in the boat then the witch turns the boat with her magic. They both were saved, but now the witch wanted to know. How can they come so close? They're in the sea, Ariel's dad asks his other daughters, where is Ariel? But no one knew anything. Her sisters also went to find Ariel in the world of humans. Ariel and Eric came back to the palace, where Eric's guardian, who sees him so happy, says to Eric I think you have found the girl that, you were looking for, with whom you can always be happy. I think we should not find that girl. But Eric was still not satisfied with his heart. He still, wanted to meet that girl. He now goes to the shore of the sea, and begins to ask that who had saved his life. Then a girl came out of the fog, and sat on a stone. Eric thinks this was the girl who saved his life. He brings her to the palace. The next day, Ariel's animal friends wake her up and say, Today, you have a lot of work, you have to do a lot. You have to tell Eric that you love him. Now Ariel gets ready quickly, and goes to Eric. But he was with the girl whom he found last night. He was telling his mom that she is the girl I love. And she saved my life. A locket was shining in that girl's neck. Ariel was very sad to hear this. And goes very far from the palace. One night, her bird friend, hears the voice of the song, which was not anyone else's but Ariel's voice. Which was coming from that locket, which that girl was wearing who met Eric last night. She was no one else but a witch, who had taken the form of a beautiful girl. Knowing about this all, Ariel's friends come to her, and tell her all, and say you have to get your love. Otherwise, the witch will win. And then you can never live here as a human. Hearing this, Ariel comes back to the palace. In the palace, Eric and that girl were about to get engaged. Eric's mom asks do you really love this girl? Because till yesterday, you were very happy with Ariel. Eric says I don't even know about this. What is the matter? Then Ariel's friends come there. They had attacked that girl the IE witch. Ariel first, takes off the locket from her neck, in which her voice was trapped. After hearing her voice, she tells Eric that I am the girl who saved your life the witch also came in her real form. She attacks everyone with her big tentacles. When Ariel came back as a mermaid, she took her back to the sea. Ariel's dad came to the sea to whom the witch tells her, that your daughter had a deal with me. A deal that you can't break even if you want. Now Ariel's dad, to save his daughter, he makes a deal with the witch. The witch had killed the king with her magic, and she also takes his magical weapon. The witch's purpose was fulfilled. She wanted to be the queen of the whole sea. What she had achieved, she was going to kill Ariel. That's when Eric came to save Ariel in the sea. But the witch now does magic on herself, and she had turned herself into a very big octopus, which was as big as the whole sea. Eric was also hanging on a ship. Ariel was trying to save Eric. The witch was using different ways to kill Ariel. Eric sits on a mountain. Ariel, who was near the ship. She turns the ship and gets inside the witch, with which all her magic was over. And she ends after becoming an ordinary human. After the witch's death, Ariel's dad king was also alive. Ariel also brings her dad's magical weapon and give him. But now she doesn't talk about herself or Eric. Because her dad had given his life for her. Eric also swims there and comes to the shore and tells his mom, 
that he has to go inside the sea to bring Ariel. But his mom tells him, look, this can't happen, you are a common man. While she is a mermaid, she has gone into her world. Ariel's dad asks Crab did I do everything right? If everything is fine, then why is my daughter so sad? Crab tells him your daughter's happiness, is there is being a human, and is with Eric, whom she loved. Hearing this, the king changes Ariel into a human. Eric was still waiting for Ariel. Finally, Ariel becomes a human and reaches Eric. They both meet, after which Ariel will always be a human. Both get married inside the palace. They were ready to travel the world. Eric meets his mom, and before leaving, Ariel meets her dad. Her dad tells her that I was wrong. Not everyone is bad. Now we mermaids will live with humans. Hearing this, Ariel is very happy. Later, they leave for their journey happily, which was their journey to travel the world. And with this, the story of this movie ends here.